Germanic tribesmen were famous for fighting with spears. The word Germany comes from an old Germanic word for spear. In many ways, Germania was the land of the spearsmen. A spear is a really effective weapon, which is why it's been used from all the way back into the Paleolithic with stone-tipped spears, right away through to using a bayonet on the end of a rifle. All a spear does is increase the reach of the warrior. This means that they can strike to the face, to the feet, to the shoulders, anywhere that's exposed by a Roman soldier, they will hit it. They are also taught to use the slingshot, another formidable weapon. John Naylor is an expert in its use. Simple science. All you're doing is doubling the length of your arm. So it makes you twice as powerful as if you throw it by hand. When you add into that rotary motion, it's even more powerful. With practice, it can be frighteningly accurate. A skilled slinger at 100 metres to 200 metres would expect to be able to hit the target the size of a head. 10 to 20 shots in a minute isn't impossible. And if you've got 100 slingers, that could be 2,000 stones flying through the air towards the enemy. The Germanic warriors would often combine this barrage of fire with another, even more deadly missile, the javelin. <gasps> the javelin has a range of anywhere between 10 and 50 meters. It's not a huge long-range weapon. However, it's perfect for the forest. Finally, there's the most basic weapon of all, the club. The club is a very, very effective weapon. Even through the male armor that the Romans are wearing, it's going to have an impact. You can break bones, break limbs, concuss through a helmet. Dirty, strike fighting. There's hardly any weapon to beat it. 